Hello and welcome to Joystick 101. This is a show where I attempt to explain basic principles in esports as simply as possible. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention that any videos on fighting games I would consider supplementary to videos by Corey Gaming and Wooly Versus, who have been doing this for quite a while. So today I want to start with one of the most basic elements of your fundamentals in fighting games, the Hadouken or the Fireball. While not every fighting game has its own version of the Hadouken, most will have the same input applied to a different move. And because so many games have that same input, it's something that a lot of people getting into fighting games for the first time have trouble kind of nailing down. So for this first video, I want to explain how to do a Hadouken, why you would do it, and when you should. Now the input for Hadouken is generally referred to as quarter circle punch, but I want to make a small graphic to show how it's actually done and then show a couple of examples in gameplay. As you can see here, something that trips up a lot of new players is that they'll attempt to hold the punch button while doing the movement, which doesn't quite get the move out. So instead what you want to do is press the button as you're finishing the movement, which will then give you the proper Hadouken. And now here's an example of a Hadouken in gameplay from Street Fighter V. Part of why the Hadouken is such an important part of your fundamentals is because it's used in so many fighting games for a plethora of different moves and there are different inputs that are based around that simple concept. The best time to use a Hadouken is when you're far enough away from the person you're fighting that the range becomes a useful tool for you to chip away at their health while still staying in a relatively safe zone. The primary reason we use a Hadouken is to do as much damage as possible to the enemy with as little risk as possible to ourselves. As you can see here, it allows us to remain across the screen but still deal damage to the enemy without risking them hitting us. As you can see here, there are moves in different games and with different characters that allow us to use the same input to get in close to the opponent while still staying far enough away beforehand that they can't hit us. So that's going to just about wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon. And if you'd like to see more of what we do here at Hitbox Media, be sure to follow us on twitch.tv slash hitboxmedia. Or you can also follow our Twitter, at HitboxP.